Hi. Welcome to the U.S. Grant, a luxury collection hotel San Diego. This property is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is the oldest hotel in downtown San Diego. Fanny Chaffee Grant purchased the Horton House in 1895. Her husband, Grant Jr., oversaw the building of the Grant Hotel, which opened in 1910 and named after his father, President Ulysses S. Grant. The Grant Hotel changed ownership multiple times and underwent a few major renovations over the decades. The Siquan tribe of the Kumeyaay Nation purchased the hotel in 2003, which is currently operated by Marriott Hotels and Resorts, who gave the hotel its current name, the U.S. Grant, a luxury collection hotel San Diego. This is the entrance. The bronze Sweet Dreams sculpture depicts a woman emerging from water intertwined with primroses, the tribal flower of the Siquan tribe. On the left is Rendezvous, a 1930s style bar. This is the lobby, which is distinguished by chandeliers, marble floor, and high vaults. On the right is the front desk. On the left is the concierge desk. This sign is information about weekend hotel tours This room serves as a business center and a cultural center with artifacts from the Siquan tribe. Under this carpet is a towel from the hotel's original flooring. The tables contain more artifacts from the Siquan tribe. This is the hotel signature restaurant, Grant Grill, which opened in 1951 and had a men only until 3 p.m. policy until a group of female attorneys staged periodic sit-ins throughout 1969 until the policy was removed. The policy sign and plaque of the woman's first reservation are displayed to remember the history. On the other side of the entrance is a plaque showing the hotel's historic landmark status. Today, the Grant Grill welcomes all, serving breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. When we visited, we tried their popular ribeye, and the special at the time, A5 Kagoshima Wagyu. We also tried the hotel's signature U.S. Grant Centennial Manhattan. This is a lounge area, which used to host karaoke. From this angle, you can see the bar. Luxury Collection is internationally acclaimed for its beverage program. This 100-day barrel-aged Manhattan was unveiled on October 15, 2010 for the hotel's 100th anniversary and is one of the first barrel-aged cocktails in the world. Along the wall are portraits of Siquan chairpersons. On the valet entrance side of the hotel is a portrait of President Ulysses S. Grant and has been with the hotel since opening day. These frames contain pictures, artifacts, and a letter capturing the history of the hotel. Below the stone medallion is a time capsule that was originally buried during the hotel's grand opening. The marble staircase is original to the hotel's opening. This mailbox is believed to have been built in the late 1800s. USPS does not service this mailbox, but hotel employees will take letters dropped inside to a service mailbox. This is the elevator landing area, which conveys a sense of luxury with the chandelier and decor. At the start of the hallway, there is an American flag themed mirror. The hallways are deceptively long, so I will speed through this.
This is a Grand Deluxe One King room. In the entryway, there is a stack of cabinets. The top cabinet contains pen and paper. The middle cabinet contains bottled water, a coffee machine, and coffee accessories. The bottom cabinet contains a safe, glasses, and a mini fridge with an incredibly reflective door. This is the bedroom, living room area. There are two armchairs, a long desk, and a mounted TV. Upon checking in, we were given a welcome gift, letter, and self-guided tour booklet for the hotel. The welcome gift was a box of chocolates. The centerpiece chocolate bears the U.S. Grant Hotel logo. This is the bed and artistic headboard. Each room displays a unique drip painting that was produced by Yves Clement and can be bought after negotiating a price with the artist. This is the bathroom, which has an interesting combination of modern and old-fashioned elements. The room had two pairs of memory foam slippers. The closet is behind these doors. On the lower level is the fitness center. In the entrance area, there are towels, chilled water, fruit, and two armchairs. They have standard cardio equipment and a rack of weights. The interesting part of this gym is how the equipment is strategically positioned around pillars to provide extra privacy. Also on the lower level is the Bivouac Ballroom, iconic for its vaulted ceilings and wood finishes. In 1910, this space served as a restaurant. During Prohibition, the Bivouac Ballroom was transformed into a speakeasy with alcohol smuggled in through underground tunnels. After Prohibition, the space was converted into a nightclub. Today, the space can be rented out for events. On the second floor, there are portraits of the 16 presidents that have visited the hotel, displayed in order of their dates in office. There are also portraits of the five first ladies that have visited the hotel. Notable guests that do not have their portrait on the wall include Einstein and Charles Lindbergh. A quick lightning round of trivia about this hotel. The hotel has three presidential suites that have been tailored to secret service requirements for accommodating presidential visits. The first Comic Con was held at the US Grant in 1970. During the construction of the hotel in 1907, Grant Jr. embedded a time capsule in the property. In 1982, the hotel closed for major renovations, and during the retrofit, a contractor discovered the time capsule and took it home. Prior to the 2006 renovations, a San Diego resident discovered the time capsule in her garage and returned it to the U.S. Grant. The time capsule was placed below this stone medallion by the elevators. In 2010, for the hotel's 100th anniversary, the time capsule was opened to add mementos and the first bottle of the U.S. Grant's Centennial Manhattan. Okay, that is all for the tour of the U.S. Grant, a luxury collection hotel, San Diego. Thank you for joining.